Hello fellow planters. So in today's video I'm going to talk to you guys about the profile, care, and propagation of the snake plant. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button below to stay privy to all my upcoming videos. So let's begin. The snake plant is known as Sansevera trifascica, but in 2017 they reclassified it as Dracaena trifascica chiata. And I'm not sure why there are, I keep running into so many plants that keep getting reclassified. I mean, you think scientists should know what they're talking about, but a lot of times they don't and just give that false impression that they do. Anyway, it also is known as mother-in-law's tongue. It's an evergreen perennial that grows between half a feet all the way up to eight feet tall. It loves partial sun, but is not picky and can tolerate a wide range of, range of light, including full sun, likes humidity, you don't want to overwater, and it can also handle some drought like conditions, so that's really good if you forget to water the plant, because it is hard to kill. It needs a temperature above 50 degrees, you know, it's typically tropical, these originate from West Africa. They are toxic to dogs and cats. You can actually plant them outdoors in USDA zones 9 through 11. They let the soil to be well draining, slightly acidic to slightly acid alkaline, so they don't really care much about pH as much, just as long as it's close to neutral. And they give you these nice white blooms in the springtime, but that rarely occurs because they won't do that indoors where you have a regulated climate. But they will typically bloom at night as well. A study done in 1989 by NASA um, testing air purification and there was a joint, you know, they revealed that a joint studies between the University of Georgia and Yonsei University showed that the plant can actually filter out formaldehyde and benzene from the air. Now these do come from West Africa so maybe they have a lot of benzene and formaldehyde there to filter, I don't know. Now, they're probably just really good. Um, they're one of the plants that are considered really good at air purification. So if you have a smelly house, you may want to get one of these. Anyway, you can propagate these via new shoots emerging from the soil, or you can take leaf cuttings and root them in water. Some people will also take the root ball and break off pieces of the rhizome to propagate. But as you can see in my example, I have yet to pot this. I'm thinking this might be a good pot for it. You have that new shoot coming up. So hence, this is, um, I can always break that apart and get a second plant. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and happy planting.